Okay, guys, I just got an update from one of the guys that works at uh, Pecron. This is Lubin. That's one of the engineers and app designer guys. Okay, so uh, here's what they said. Um, they, he put, uh, if the voltage between the main unit and the additional battery is less than 2 volts, current will flow freely between the main unit and the additional battery. And the main unit will not be able to control the capacity of each battery. As long as the main unit can fully charge the additional battery and discharge it completely, the system will function normally. All LFP devices using this balancing scheme cannot control the exact matching of the battery levels between the main unit and the additional battery. If you want to keep the battery levels of each unit constant, a DC to DC circuit needs to be added between the additional batteries, which will result in significant energy loss and is unnecessary. Thank you for your testing, Bob. So the, the reason that I'm recording this is because I just literally finished at 6 something in the morning and almost 7 o'clock in the morning. I just finished um, recording a, a, a full test. We did an entire night from about uh, about 3 o'clock yesterday till about 6 this morning, which is 15 hours. Uh, long test, guys. But here's the difference. We ran 12 kilowatt hours on the system. That's the host and three batteries on, on this system uh, as opposed to 15,000 watt hours on the system. And you'll be very, very surprised at the um, results that uh, we received. Okay, so I, I added on to this video is going to be another video and that is my uh, finalization of the test and the explanation of what I did. Okay, hold on one second. Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again with another test of the E3600 LFP. Now, we like this system. Don't get me wrong. We like this system. I'm doing tests to verify if something, I had a hunch about something. So, I, I ran, uh, a, a, let's see, more than 50%. I'm down to 43%. So, I, I burnt out 57% of the system uh, using a about anywhere between 3 and 500 watt. Well, actually, probably 1 to 500 watt draw. It, it, you know, it fluctuated through the night. And uh, notice that the battery cells are at 41, this is 43, 46, and 44. And I noticed that one of them is not really far off like that last battery when you have it hooked up. So that's the strange thing. That's my question for Pecron. Why is it when I run a 12, uh, 12 kilowatt hour system, a 12,000 watt hour system, which is only three batteries and the host, does the power meter stay within, what was that, uh, that's that's 5%. So it stays within 5% of all the batteries. And when I put on that that fourth extra battery on the bottom, that's when the power meter gets funny. I don't know. It just seems like a programming thing. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't design the system. I didn't make it. I'm only using it as an end user. I bought the system. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, it's, just, it's strange. That's all. So if you guys could weigh in with any ideas of why, when I use about that much average throughout the night, uh, three in anywhere between uh, it's probably three, four, five hundred watts. I'm guessing, you know, depending on all what what turns on, and then as low as a hundred watts per short time. Um, but why do these stay perfect? Look at that, 41, 43, 46, and 44. They they the the system stays good. I can't I can't reiterate that enough. The system stays good with this amount of batteries on it. But when I put that last battery on there, it, it gets weird. That one gets up to and like you guys saw the videos, like some of them are up to forty percent off. Of that first battery you know and about 15 to 20 percent off the rest of the batteries it just I don't know, it just seems weird so I'm, I'm documenting this guys so I have a video showing it and that way Pecora can see this video um, long story short I'm gonna reiterate one more time just so if Pecora's listening I ran a full test of anywhere between 1 to 500 watts all through the night uh, since solar stopped at about 3 o'clock yesterday and it's now 6 o'clock in the morning so it's a long time and um, I, I burnt out 57% of the battery. Uh, the system is at 52.4 volts overall. And uh, the battery meters are almost perfect. 41, 43, 46, and 44. All right, guys, chime in with your uh, ideas because, like I said, when I use it as a 12,000-watt-hour 12, 12, system, it, it, obviously it, it works It works uh, perfect. What I think is perfect, I don't know. And then I put that you know that extra battery on there and then the power meter goes funny drawing the same amount of watts too so uh, i'm open to ideas guys all right bye ramble on be safe